can't do this. What this? How? how? <laughs> it's a heart, right? It's supposed to be like a heart with your fingers. Ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> this looks ridiculous. How do people? Uh, I do not have the. Anyway. Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be filming a bullet journal video that uh, literally no one asked for, but no one ever asks for any of the videos on my channel, so. <laughs> uh, this is a bullet journal video. Uh, enjoy. <laughs> Let's just hop right in to the video. For starters, uh, I got this beautiful notebook from Home Essentials and most of the stationery that I use is either from Home Essentials or from ShopRite. This brown craft paper like thing I got from a notebook I also got from Home Essentials. So yeah, um, for the first thing that I did was uh, write my name on the first page. I decided to make that my title page and uh, be decorative about it. I'm going to say this off the bat, the reason I wanted to start a bullet journal was because I thought the books I was seeing all the time were really pretty and just a really nice way of self-expression and I recently found a diary that I used to write in uh, from when I was 15 to the age of 18. It wasn't very very consistent in it but it was super interesting seeing my thoughts and the way I changed and so I basically wanted to use the format of a bullet journal, like with the daily spreads and the monthly log, keeping track of my life, but also still um, reflecting, not necessarily for productivity, because I do have notion for productivity, uh, like uh, every every single day a to do list, but keeping track of my thoughts and emotions and uh, my mental health in this book. So for my next spread, I decided to just write 2021. Uh, made a lot of mistakes. Uh, came a long way with this one, but I was very proud of how it eventually turned out. I feel like Bob, Bob Ross would be super proud because, you know, there's no such thing as mistakes. There's just happy accidents. And uh, I'm happy with how it turned out eventually. And now for the very first of many things that weren't recorded on camera. I'm sure the last way y'all left this page was just three yellow dots but uh, I decided to decorate it a little bit more and eventually maybe add a quote to that page and that that's what I did. The next part I decided to do was this uh, future log with Dutch doors, ba basically a book within a book. And um, uh, I'm, I was going to cover all the pages with this paper I painted black. And this Dutch door thing I copied from Amanda Rich Lee. And um, yeah. And eventually, this is how the book turned out. I was very happy with it. Despite it having uh, chalkboard vibes, uh, we made it work. I just outlined what I would use for the months in pencil so that I would come back to it in white. I also wrote down future log on these tabs and I'm actually quite happy about the font that I used here. Those silver washi tape things I took out eventually because I wasn't too happy with them. And... Uh, yeah, here's me just outlining the things that would come in the months. And here is the first instance of me basically just living in Artemis's world. This is Artemis's world. I just live in it. Period. Aside from a few instances, my penmanship in this book. Ugh. <laughs> 
leaves much to be desired for me at least. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another set of things that weren't recorded on camera. I don't really know why there are so many things that weren't recorded on camera, <laughs> but they're there. And also, maybe I guess it's just an excuse for me to use that jingle. Anyway, here's a nice blue and yellow spread that uh, has uh, stars in it because, you know, the black background, the stars, we stand, we love it, yes. So the next spread that I wanted to do was a 2020 uh, reflections and 2021 aspirations spread because let's be honest 2021 is only starting in February and that's on period but in all seriousness comment down below if you write resolutions every year or do you just make plans while uh, you have the chance because if we're honest 2020 showed us a thing or two about making plans so anyway this is how the spread turned out lots of blue and yellow Oh, I almost forgot. This last spread is one of those. Things that weren't recorded on camera. The next spread I decided to do is peak soft bitch energy. I decided to make a page for gift ideas for the ones I love. I don't know why I'm talking in this accent. Anyway, it, it spread for gift ideas and I made these little envelopes just so I could uh, put those ideas in there. And uh, yeah. Since we're doing peak moments right now, I should just mention that the next scene is peak. We get it. We get it. We fucking get it, bro. <laughs> um, only in post am I realizing that it's kind of campy and the patterns and it's just loud and a lot of things. But you know what? I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about the loud ass spreads I have in this book. What I actually am mad about, though. <laughs> Is the fact that I can't spell what I I beware the Ides of March. Uh, Shakespeare quaking, career stolen. <laughs> anyway, the next spread that I decided to make, hopefully will help me with my um spelling, is a uh, bookshelf to keep track of the books I read this year. I've seen it a lot, and I'm quite happy that I got to try it myself. Um. I don't like how the title came out, but I like how the rest of it did. So enjoy. And then finally, I was able to uh, correct my mistake because I finally noticed that uh, I made a boo-boo. <laughs> and then the next spread I decided to do is this uh, astronomy sp spread, astro events of the year spread. But that, um, yeah, I know I didn't uh, show you that I stuck the black paper on uh, that was done off camera. What, you expected the jingle? No, I, I like to be unpredictable sometimes. Wow, She's just wow, not so that a was <laughs> Anyway, this is one of my favorite spreads and I can't wait to fill it in. And uh, look at the sky this year. And for my final spread, I will be making a year in pixels. It's basically a mood tracker and it would be really good for figuring out the times when I'm low, the times when I'm high, and just keeping track of my mental health and seeing what is influencing that. So, fun. <laughs> and here, my good internet watchers, is where I continue to live in Artemis' world and I uh, pull the covers up and let you know that this was a covert cat video. You thought this was a bullet journal video? <laughs> Psych, it's Artemis' video. She, uh, she just came in and... <laughs> It really just was herself, you know? This is a cat video, and you'll have to just deal with that. <laughs> hey. 
I'm gonna be honest with y'all this this scene with her little paw on my hand just makes me so soft <laughs> carry on And this, dear friends, brings us to the end of the video. This is the final spread of the year in pixels, and I started a February spread, but I don't have enough time to show you what I did with that. And uh, thank you so much for watching the whole way through. Um, this has been fun. Please subscribe and comment and share and like. Uh, do the works. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, bye. Bring me all of your dreams, you dreamers. Bring me all of your heart melodies that I may wrap them in a blue cloud cloth away from the two rough fingers of the world.